All right, guys, Chase Brogan here. So I recently reviewed the X-Gun light gun controller, which can be used as both a gamepad as well as a light gun. And in this very brief and quick video, I'm gonna show you guys what I did to get this set up on my PC using the integrated software here and you know, actually patching through my Steam account as well to bring the games into the mix. So let's dive into this. I'll show you guys step-by-step step exactly what I did to get the X-Gun controller up and running. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do is we are going to turn on our X-Gun. And the way that I actually approach this is I hold down the power button here, as well as the D-pad up right over here at the exact same time. This is going to light up for you guys red. If it doesn't light up red, if it lights up yellow, all you're going to do is you're going to then hold the plus button, which is right there. If you hold that down, then it will turn red. Ba basically, red is going to be this mode when you're using it as a gun. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to go up here. We have to first download this software here, the X, uh, XIAN Fan Game. I have no idea how to properly pronounce that, but we'll double click this. We'll go ahead and hit yes. So you can download it at the link provided in the description of this video. It will likely be in a, I'm not sure if it's Chinese or if it's in Japanese. I don't know what language it's in, but if you go up here, it'll be in one of these. Just go ahead and select English, and then you're going to be able to, as long as you speak English, obviously, determine what, you know, everything is labeled as. But what we're going to do is we're going to go over to in-home calibration. Actually, you want to make sure you're connected to Wi-Fi as well. I'm currently not. Let me go ahead and connect over to Wi-Fi. There we go. Beautiful. All right. So now that we connected to Wi-Fi, if we refresh this, you're going to see that a bunch of games populate in here. These are all the games that are compatible with the X-Gun. And the one that we're going to be diving into today, today is Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare Remastered right here. Uh, and the way I do it is I connect over to Steam. You just have to have Steam on your desktop. And you can see over here I already do. Uh, but what we'll do is we'll do calibration here. And you're going to connect over your camera. So I have my camera right here. I've set this up on my little light setup and the camera is facing this right here. And you can see me on the actual screen. And that's again, because my camera is facing the actual computer monitor right here. And you can see this screen right here that you see is actually this whole thing. So it's kind of a weird setup here, but what we want to do is you're going to click right here. So you see we have these four points, one, two, three, four. We're gonna click those on the smaller screen here. So we'll actually double click these. So double click one, double click two, double click three, double click four. Now you don't have to go crazy with it being like perfectly level or centered. Um, I'm you know, trying to keep it as level as possible, but today I have just kind of, you know, Got it as close as possible. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the shooting test here. And now with our X gun, you should be able to move it on screen. And notice how hard to see there. But if you look dead center in there, you can see my little circular, um, you know, crosshair, if you will. I'm able to move this all around and it does actually track perfectly. So what you'll do here is, is you're going to... Try to line this up in the center, and then you're going to go over to, with your mouse on your keyboard, or excuse me, your mouse on your computer, you're going to go over to Calibrate Cursor, and you're going to basically line up your crosshair with that crosshair on the cursor, and then you will double-click with your mouse. Now, because I'm holding the camera here in this makeshift sort of video setup, I can't do the double-click, but double-click and have this lined up there. And that is literally all you have to do. So I've already done this now. I'm gonna exit this. And now what we'll do is we'll go over to Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And I'm just gonna click on Run from Steam. And it's gonna automatically open everything up. You'll see it load into place here. There it goes loading.
And now if we take our gun, you can see that we are tracking on screen there. So it's a little bit hard to see, but there you go. It looks like I'm way off just with the camera angle, but I am actually lining this up quite well. So it does line up really well. And obviously you want to be further away from this. I'm pretty much right on it. And notice when I'm right on it, it's kind of out of whack. But once I come out here like this, it now is perfectly in line and we have no issues. So we'll jump into some gameplay. I'll show you guys exactly how this works, but it tracks beautifully on here in real time. There's no lags or delays that I'm experiencing. So really a uh, really great setup here. All right, guys, hopefully that helps you guys out. Uh, the way that I proceeded through this process was I actually just kind of froze a couple frames from a Asian video that was in a completely different language and just watched what they were doing as best I could on screen, pieced this whole process together. So if you guys have some better recommendations, hit me up in the comment section. I know it'll help other people that are trying to figure this out as well. This was the approach that I took today. This is what got me into a bunch of different Call of Duty games here with the X-Gun controller. I had a great experience with it, but if you guys have some shortcuts or some advice for other people using the X-Gun controller, please feel free to share that information in the comments of this video. Always love helping people out, and you guys can contribute to that by commenting. But thank you guys so much for your time. Thanks for watching. Be sure to uh, drop a thumbs up on the video on your way out, and of course, hit subscribe to stay in the loop for all future videos right here on the Chase Brogan YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one.